Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to calculate the molar mass of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Now to do this, you're going to need a periodic table to get the atomic masses of each element. And I recommend a calculator to prevent some simple mistakes. Okay, so I like to use four steps in my system to calculating molar mass. And so the first thing that I do is I write the chemical formula. After that, for step two, I find the atomic mass of each element. For step three, I multiply by the number of atoms for each of those elements. And for step four, I add all the masses together. Okay, for our sulfuric acid, we have H2SO4. All right. Okay. So for the atomic masses of each element, I'm just going to go ahead and list each of those elements. We've got hydrogen, we got sulfur, and we have oxygen. And so we're going to look those up on that periodic table. All right. And so, let's kind of move this up a little bit. For our hydrogen, right here, we have an atomic mass of 1.01, .01, and that is grams per mole. Okay, and for our sulfur, we have 32.07 grams per mole. 32.07 grams per mole. So it's kind of small on the screen. Um, you can download a periodic table in the description below or use your favorite one. And for oxygen, we have a oxygen right here and it's 16.00 grams per mole. 16.00. Per mole. Now that we have that, we're going to determine how many of each of those elements are in that formula, and we're going to multiply times that number. For hydrogen, we can see we have a subscript of two, which means we have two of those hydrogens in that chemical formula. So I'm going to multiply that number by two. All right, I like to use a calculator so I can prevent simple mistakes, especially when I'm in a rush. Or maybe I'm nervous because of a test. All right, so and that's 2.02. 2.02, and the units are grams per mole. All right, for our sulfur, we do not have a subscript after sulfur, so that means there's only one. So we're just going to multiply times one. Any number times one is that same number. So 32.07 grams per mole. Finally, for oxygen, we have four as a subscript. So that means we have four oxygen atoms in that chemical formula. So we're going to multiply our 16.00 times four. Okay, put that into the calculator. And that gives us 64 and 0 .00. I'm going to keep those significant digits. All right, and the final step, all we have to do is add this up, and then we'll have our molar mass sulfuric acid. Put that into the calculator. 2.02 .02 plus our 32.07 plus our 64.00, and we have a molar mass of 98. 0 0.09 grams per mole. All right, guys, that's how you calculate the molar mass of sulfuric acid. If you found this video helpful, would you consider like, commenting, or subscribing? Until next time, have a nice day and keep on learning.